lovely creatures, spooky, scary, rumptious, delicious, Skippy you. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for Skippy you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look at you and your person, baby. Uh, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble, date, marriage. Uh, let's take a look at Ad Skippy you. Uh, please show me in calls what is happening for Skippy you and their person. Scorpio, we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation in these you versus them readings. Uh, it is a love and separation reading. Uh oh, my man. <laughs> but, Bill, your person is uh, drinking to forget, partying to forget. They don't want to think about this. Boom. Three of cups. They're like, yeah, let's go out. Let's forget. Let's party. Something has been going on for the past. Um, three days, three months, uh, three weeks, maybe a separation. Could be longer, could be a much longer amount, but I don't think, let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. They see was still, they still see was their journey. Uh, they do feel like they associate you, uh, you can't, oh, you can't see the alien. <laughs> Mommy's uh, upstaging the alien. Baby, um, they still see was their future, their journey. You know, you are the way. <laughs> You're Jesus to them. You're their personal, uh, own personal Jesus. Is that Depeche Mode? Oh yeah. I love Depeche Mode. Uh, leave me a comment if you love Depeche Mode. All right. <laughs> oh, baby, baby, baby. So much confusion here. So much confusion here. Your person doesn't... Why did all this happen? Your person was crazy. They were like enamored uh, under your spell. They were enchanted by you. Something really weird here. If you're dealing with a masculine energy, I think this person is kind of like has an issue with the feminine or with women in general. Something something like that, baby. You are like the main person to them. Whether you're masculine, feminine, anyone between you are like their main person, the empress, the main bibu, love personified, you know? Uh, the, you know, the, the finest, highest amount of, uh, of love possible for this person. You are still the way to this. It's almost religious. Bibu, this love is like religious. Scorpio, we always get these readings. This is religious. You're like the way for this person but they have such a deep issue around love or about like showing th maybe their feminine uh divine feminine side inside of them you know um the balance the integration between uh you know uh, the feminine and the masculine mm, very strange i think this person has all kinds of psychological issues i think you already sense that because you're a psychic scorpio but i think there's a lot you don't know maybe they were hiding a lot of things we'll see baby uh but also scorpio uh if you're new to the channel let me just say welcome uh, to blue angel love tarot and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you i see you baby give mommy a kiss mm. i am your scorpio mommy baby uh this is scorpio central so just uh relax and enjoy also script you just a quick note uh i do have a new channel it is a vlog channel i'm vlogging my life my advent uh, my magical adventures my paranormal experiences atlantis if you're into atlantis come check out uh, my new video uh all of that good stuff so i hope to see you there if you vibe with my energy and just a quick quick note boo -boo. scammers are uh are doing the scamming so if someone's messaging you on instagram pretending to be me uh they're like you know um, uh, they're kind of duplicating my Instagram account. Uh, they're using my name, but there's always something weird about the name. So there's like an extra T added to tarot or there's like a hyphen. So make sure that, that you're speaking to me. My real Instagram is in the description box below. So follow my real Instagram and, you know, always, always double check with the description of my YouTube that it is the correct Instagram. I will never solicit a reading. I will never ask you for money in a DM. You have to come to me. The only way to get a reading with me these days is to email me, boo -boo, unless we're already in contact and you have my correct Instagram. Uh, all right, baby. Also, thank you to everyone who's uh, who's been telling me about this. I am sadly aware of it. Instagram is just trash, and they just refuse to do anything. Uh, all right, but Bill. Anyway, uh, Scorpio Mommy is mad at Instagram, not your Bill's. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the douche flute. So if it was a, a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, this is someone who was very, like, uh, unhappy in their life. The the Eight of Cups, they could have been running away from something. This could have been someone who's literally on the run from something, you know? Something or someone. Uh, a, their demons, uh, a past. They were running from something. Running from a deep, deep, terrible problem, baby. And then they ran into you. You know, this person's running. Uh, what they had also in their relationships in the past and their connections wasn't enough. This person was seeking. They were searching for more. They wanted more love, deeper love, truer love. And boom, they bumped into the Scorpions sting boom straight, straight up like onto the stake and they were like oh this is like 
you know, it's almost like you're coming up in this Titan energy, like, you know, like larger than life, like a demigod almost. Give you like, I, mommy's not saying this just to feed your feed your ego. This is how you're coming up in this person's psyche, you know, almost like like a, like a true goddess, god, anyone in between. And this person didn't know how to deal with it. They were seeking this. They were manifesting, praying for someone like you. And when they uh, finally found you, they didn't know how to handle you. This happens a lot in the scripture readings. Whole like handling, you know, it's such a beautiful metaphor for like all the douche flutes and the am amateurs who you know try and play with the scribbian, not wearing their protective gear, you know. Don't play with us, baby. Love us and respect us. Or else, no, I'm just kidding, baby. Uh, by the way, all the rumors are, about Scarews are true. This person was deeply troubled by this whole thing. I think they were hiding something from you. What, what was this person uh, running from? So this could never come to fruition because they were, were hiding something from you. But you're coming in your power and your light. You're like, yeah, whatever. Like, you know, worship me or, or, or leave. <laughs> worship or die. <laughs> Peasant, worship. And the puzzle was like, ah, I panicked. Okay, let's see. Um, wow. They had unresolved karma. Uh, but I don't mean like from, this isn't a past life karma. This person had unresolved karma, justice. They literally could, they could have like, someone here could have literally been on the run, like on the actual run from like, you know, the authorities. I don't know, baby. Why is it, this is so bizarre. Oh my God, you don't even know how funny that is to mommy. Because it's like such a scary energy. They were on the run from some kind of karma or justice or from their destiny. So take it as it resonates. Uh, it could have been from another person that they owe something to, like a relationship they left in disgrace. They could have left someone high and dry because it wasn't enough for them, but they owe this person something like child support or something like that. Uh, or it could be that this person was just, you know, running away from their destiny. They weren't living their best life. And that's why they were blocked to the divine feminine to goddess energy and a love connection. And now they're still trying to block themselves. Like they're trying to forget, baby. I'm not gonna, gonna lie, Scorpio. I think this person is try, like trying really hard to uh, even date, put themselves out there. They've been, you know, trying the, you know, different floozies, flouzettes, uh, f uh, douche flutes, uh, douche flutes. <laughs> okay, all the babies. Okay, <laughs> everyone. Aliens. They tried aliens. You know, th they've tried dating, and it's just not fulfilling. See, this is the thing. That person is not fulfilled. Uh, for all their douche fluteness, weirdness, I think this person deep is a good person deep inside and they seek that beautiful you know uh, higher vibrational uh, love connection straight from Atlantis you know like it's that kind of a vibration but they're very lost you know I think this person really strayed in their life and by the time they met you they weren't able to uphold uh, the beautiful soul union that I see here also if it was a more established connection you know this is someone who did you a lot of boo boos in a relationship because they weren't doing justice by you you know this justice also you could just Maybe you were married to like a, a perpetual person who was perpetually running from their destiny, perpetually not doing right by you, or per, like an actual, you know, like, uh, what's that show like, um, where like people like date like people in prison and then they go out, like get out and like whatever. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> and it's all like drama. It could have been a situation like that. Maybe someone was in prison. Okay, this is very interesting, very interesting, baby. Uh, I don't mean to make light of it, but it's like, you know, it, you know, this is karma. There's a lot of karma here. So whatever that means to you, you have the 10 of pentacles. This person still sees you as their home, as the one that they want to come home to, the one that they want to uh, sail to. Uh, on the seas of love, baby, this person's coming through for you. They're going to reappear in your life one way or another. It's a very slow moving energy. Could be a Libra, could be pentacle energy, could be a Taurus, uh, could be any earth sign, Capricorn. Uh, but this person um, is going to rematerialize in your life. It's taking them a long time. This is such an epic reading, baby. Oh my gosh, all the readings are epic recently. Uh, let's see what the advice is for Scorpio. Please show me the advice for Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, what is going on today? Scorpio energy, uh, the dead are coming back, baby. You know, Scorpio is Pluto. That is, uh, you know, the Lord, the ruler, my daddy, by the way, uh, the ruler of the underworld. So, um, spiritually speaking well maybe also who knows uh but yeah you know pluto is my daddy your daddy too our daddy our planet and you know this is that energy of the dead reawakening and that's very much you know what scorpio can you know that's what scorpio uh accepts you know we accept this kind of underworld i mean accept we just like you know we we channel it so it's almost like you know of course this like person who uh, couldn't hold this higher vibrational love energy is returning after a while could be much longer than three months could be 10 months or more 
could be a very long time for some of you. But this person, because it's slow energy, this King of Pentacles is a slow energy, someone very much in their ego too, a lot of ego here, a lot of slowness, a lot of like waiting, you know, they were hoping maybe you would reach out to them or you would fix this and you didn't. Of course you didn't. Of course you didn't. By the way, cross watcher, uh, these energies can't switch, but if you're dealing with a Scorpio, you're hoping Scorpio is going to reach out first. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, good luck. But yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Maybe uh, mommy's not being mean, but also good luck. Because uh, like, that's all you have left. Um, judgment. Yeah, Scorpio. It's almost saying you've been uh, waiting to receive this dead energy. You've been waiting for, for the resurrection of this person. You've been waiting for them to reach out. You've been expecting, intuiting, or even some of you manifesting this. So it's up to you. But th the dead have risen. Will you receive them, baby? It's up to you. Know that you're in your power, though, and also the angels are watching out for you. The uh, Archangel Gabriel is here, uh, you know, playing uh, playing the trumpet of the final days of the apocalypse. You know, uh, the day of judgment has come. You will have to judge this person, too. And they know it, and they're going to submit. But, you know, it's taking them a long time. I think someone's going to reach out, and then, uh, you know, uh, maybe in the next one hour, one day, or one week, or one month, yeah, could be could be a little bit later. Could be Aries season too. Could have the Emperor here. This is very much someone in there. Uh, it's, it's a very masculine person. It doesn't matter their gender, but it's a very masculine person. Very unbending. They have some kind of an issue with the Mother Goddess, baby. That's what I'm sensing here. Uh, but yeah, baby, Oscar Bia, why do we always have these douche like? Babe, it's always the way. This is my one. I came back with my boyfriend. We got back together. We had a little uh, rift separation, but now we're back together. Uh, okay, never mind. All right, but Bill, uh, this is what I have for you today. By the way, if you're new to the channel, this is, you know, this is my boyfriend. Uh, if you're new... <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching, Scorpio. If you are interested in purchasing a reading with me or any of my other magical services or coaching services, all the information is in the description box below. If you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video and subscribe to my new channel. Uh, liking the video really helps me out, uh, and obviously subscribing to my new channel also helps me out, baby. But only if you want to, only if you feel like it. Uh, this is what I have for you today. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you.